What's up, everybody? It is Friday, June 30th. Welcome to this week's video update. It's got some exciting stuff to show you. We've got this new members area. We, we just upgraded our entire site and alerts delivery platform. So I really hope you guys like it. Uh, Want to hear any feedback that you have, good, bad, any suggestions, would love to hear from you. Uh, let us know. So this is uh, this is what it'll look like when you get into your when you log in and get into your personal members homepage, and you're going to have a couple of different things over here on the left. You've got your welcome. There's a welcome video that kind of walks you through your whole members area. Uh, VI Premium upgrade. So if you want to uh, you know buy a, a specific course, and we'll be adding additional stuff here. We've got the alerts tab, which will show you our past alerts. So these are all the alerts going back. Now, um, from the other platform, instead of having to manually copy all of those over, I simply put a button down here at the bottom. It says previous alerts. So any alerts prior to June 22nd, just click on that. This will pop up. You can see the date going all the way back to August, uh, October of 2016. So all the alerts are right here if you need them. Um, but uh, but let's just let's jump in to the alerts for this. Week. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you on the um, on the alerts tab here, we also have our current portfolio. So this will show you all the current positions that we have in place right now. I know this has been a uh, a request to kind of separate these two, so you get an idea of here's our uh, here's our current portfolio. We've got our past alerts I showed you, and then closed trades. This is another big request that we've gotten. Uh, so here's all the closed trades. So, uh, and it'll show what the total P&L was. So here's a wheat iron condor. It shows the open, any adjustments, the closing, all the exact trades copied copy direct, directly from the platform, total P&L. Uh, and, and so you'll, you can see those. Now I've just, just started doing those. So just started in the month of June. Uh, this button is, is not not correct yet because it's still June, but once once we get to the next month, I'll have all of our closed positions in the current month, and then all past closed positions, I'll have a button so you can direct to uh, to see all past closed alerts too. So you can you can really track what the P and L is, and, and really understand how we're making these trades and why we're consistently profitable over time. So. Really hope that's helpful. Let's jump into this week's alerts. So if we go to the past alerts tab and we'll start at the beginning of the week, your, your weekly video update will also be posted here. And so uh, the first one was on Monday and that was an opening trade in wheat and we sold an iron condor in wheat. So if we go to the platform and take a look, now since, since that alert, we've actually, uh, We've actually adjusted that, and so what we've actually got is uh, well, this is the this is the most recent alert that we put out today on Friday. This is our new iron condor, and then our adjusted alert. Let's reset that. We can pull those up. So we've got the uh, so it breached our upside break even, and so we closed out the the untested side, which was the put side. So we've still got this call side on, so we need to move down to benefit that position. But again, simultaneously, we put on this new iron condor. Uh, and I did this with three contracts just to kind of help separate that because we're in the same operate uh, uh, expiration cycle of September. So just to uh, uh, minimize confusion, our initial iron condor was two contracts. I did this with three. Uh, we've got a max profit of 506.25 on this, max risk of 993. So, still in good position there. Next alert we did was in was an adjusting and rolling trade in oil. So we've got a couple positions on in oil, or we did. We had an adjusted one, uh, which which ended up being the uh, 45 put and the 46 call that came into center. Uh, earlier this week, I think yesterday. So we took that off and then we are, we're still holding our other strangle in oil, which is, excuse me, it's just this one here. So still very centered, not enough profit to take off yet, but if we get a little bit of a down move, a little bit more contraction in implied volatility in oil, we will take that off for a profit as well. 
if we took a look at IV, you can see it's starting to creep down. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll probably just take that off once we have enough profit uh, without adding another adjustment. But that's where we are in oil. The, uh, the next trade was an opening trade. We did a straddle in Target. And we did this with 23 days to expiration, which is less than that typical 30 days that we like to. But we wanted to stay inside of earnings. So we didn't, we, we, we didn't want to be in a trade that, would, that uh, expired in or after their earnings announcement. So we wanted to beat that. So that's why we shortened up our time frame. And with IV percentile at 81, really nice IV, a lot of, lot of juice in those, a lot of premium in those options. So we wanted, to, we wanted to get a position on in Target. So if we take a look at Target, you can see implied volatility continues to stay high in there. Sold that straddle. Still very centered, not enough profit to take off yet, so we'll continue to monitor that one. Next trade was in oil. So that's where we bought our other 4645 adjusted strangle back. So we already, we already looked at that. Next trade was in SPY. So we got a spike in implied volatility where it jumped up to 56 at one point. I think it was as high as 60, I saw it, but we got in when IV percentile is at 56, sold an iron condor in SPY. So man, is it nice to have some implied volatility back. Uh, if we can get a continuation down in this market, we'll see some more IV give us a lot more opportunity to put on positions. But uh, anyway, we've got, a, got this iron condor here in SPY, still very centered, nothing to do there yet. And then our next trade was uh, the adjusting trade in wheat that I already went over. Uh, breached our upside, <clears throat> breached our upside break even. So we closed our put side, and then we added this additional uh, iron condor. So those were all the alerts for the week. Let's go back and take a look at some of our other current positions. Uh, let's move this down so we can see it a little bit better. So we've got our. Let's go to just the alerts here. So we've got oil. We've got uh, we've got this. Uh, position on in ES, which is simply just a put vertical. And so we put this on strictly as a directional play last week, and it's working out so far up about 180, 190 bucks on this position so far. But we really put this on purely as a directional play to add short delta, add a little bit of a short bias to our overall portfolio. So we'll continue to monitor that and uh, look for a little bit more downside before we were, would take that off. In corn, uh, we've got a, uh, an iron condor in here. You can see price is kind of still well within our range. And then we've got our other uh, adjusted part of the other iron condor, just the put side. <clears throat> and you can see uh, corn has just recently made a big move up here. So. We'll look to take this off early next week. This is in the August cycle, which just has 21 days to expiration. Our full iron condor has 56 days. So, but this uh, originally came down, breached our, our break even point here. So we took off the untested side. Now prices rallied back up and we could take this off here. I'm gonna look for a little bit more profit. If we don't get it, uh, I may take it off later today or potentially uh, early next week, but but um, we'll, we'll continue to monitor corn. Soybeans, we also have this iron condor in soybeans. We need a little bit of a move up before we bank the profit in soybeans. We've got a butterfly in Costco. This is pretty close to getting taken off. Total risk on this was 622, so we want about a 20% profit, 20, 25%. So we're almost there, hopefully early next week if we can get some more Contraction in IV and Costco, we'll be able to book that profit on that butterfly. DIA, we had an iron condor in <clears throat> in DIA. Took that, uh, took the put side off because it breached our upside break even. Now just looking for a little bit of a down move to get out of uh, the diamonds for a profit. Microsoft working nicely, not quite enough profit yet here. I'd like to get about $200 profit, about 50% of max profit. If I don't get that early next week, you know, we've only got now in the July, we've only got, we've got 21 days. Typically, if it was an ETF or a future with 21 days to expiration, we would roll that out to August. But the problem is uh, Microsoft has earnings 
when is that exactly? On 720, so in 20 days from now. So uh, the options actually, uh, the earnings announcement is before the options expire. So we're gonna get out of this probably sometime next week. Just, just waiting for a little bit more profit in Microsoft. And then the queues, we've also got this strangle in the queues. Uh, when applied volatility obviously spiked up when we had this big down move and continuation of down moves in the NASDAQ. It continues to be the weakest link of, the, of all the indices, although today it's up a little bit more respectively than the others, but, it, but it, over the last couple weeks it's definitely been the weakest. And as you can see, implied volatility is much higher. You know, the percentiles at the 96th percentile. So, uh, if we get a if we get more of a move uh, down, you know, we'll look to add another position on here or adjust as needed. Uh, but we'll continue to monitor that. And then in RUT, we've still got this calendar. So, looking for an expansion and a little bit of a down move, uh, expansion in in IV and a down move in price in RUT. And we will. Uh, Look to get out of that or adjust as needed. So hope that was helpful. Again, give me some feedback on the new platform, on the new site. Hope you guys like it. Uh, we've got some new technology, new courses, a bunch of new stuff rolling out. And this was kind of the first step to, uh, to getting that ready to go. So all guns moving forward now. And uh, you guys have a great weekend. We will not be doing a Facebook Live, the Navigation Trading Live event that we stream on Facebook and YouTube. We will not be doing that on Monday morning due to the holiday. Hope everybody gets to take a nice long holiday, relax, have some fun with the friends and family, and we'll see you back here next week. Talk to you soon.